How to make hot cross buns. Today we are cooking, but before we cook, we need to take an apron. Which apron would you like? Would you like the telephone box apron or the red double decker bus? apron. I'd like the double-decker bus. So I put on the apron and tie the apron behind my back. Now I also need to tie my hair because it's very long. Okay, now we can start. First, Turn on the tap and wash your hands. Take some soap, some liquid soap and wash your hands. Or if you prefer, you can take some solid soap and wash your hands. Rinse your hands very well. Turn off the tap and then dry your hands. Dry your hands. Dry your hands. Good morning. Today we are making hot cross buns. Take a mixer, plug the mixer in, open the mixer, take some water and pour the water in. 60 millilitres of water. Take one teaspoon of sugar and pour the sugar in. Close the sugar bowl. Open the cupboard. Take out the ingredients. Close the cupboard and shake the packet. Take a packet of yeast and cut the yeast packet open. Pour Pour it in. Close the mixer. And turn on the mixer. Turn off the mixer. Take the scissors. The scissors. If you haven't got a mixer, no problem. Take a bowl. Pour the water in the bowl, pour the yeast in the bowl, put one teaspoon of sugar in the bowl and stir. It's no problem. The mixer or the bowl, no problem. Add the milk, pour. Add the oil, add the salt, add the grated nutmeg, nutmeg, great, 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 add the cinnamon. Take the scales, take a bowl and the sugar, pour the sugar in the bowl and weigh the sugar, pour the sugar in, take an orange and a lemon, add the lemon rind. In reality, in English, it's called the lemon zest. 
add the orange zest. Weigh the flour on the scales. The flour, sieve. Pour the flour in, sift the flour. Sift the flour delicately. Pour some flour, a little, in the mixture. Mix. Add more flour. Mix. Wipe the table clean. Clean the table. Take a bowl. Put a little oil in the bowl, just a little, with some kitchen paper. Kitchen paper. Spread the oil inside the bowl. Take a spatula. Take out the dough with the spatula. Take out the dough with the spatula. Put it into the bowl and put it into the bowl. Take some cling film, cling film, cover the bowl with the cling film. Leave it for one hour. After one hour, look how big it is. It's enormous. Take a casserole dish, oven paper, put some oven paper inside the casserole dish. Uncover the bowl and if you like you can add some sultanas and raisins. Put your hand in the bag of flour and mix the ingredients. Sprinkle some flour and put the dough, the dough, on the paper. Open the drawer, take out a knife and close the drawer. Divide the dough in half, half, and a quarter. Divide every quarter into three parts. Make a ball. Put the ball into the casserole. Don't forget to clean the kitchen when you've finished. Wipe the table. And here you have the buns. Cover the buns with cling film and leave to rest. Let the buns rise for 30 minutes. Turn on the oven to 190 degrees centigrade. Open the fridge, take out the milk and then close the fridge. Take some icing sugar, open the pack, open the door. 
take a bowl, pour out the icing sugar, take some vanilla, pour in a, a drop of vanilla extract, and pour just a little water, just a little. Stir with a teaspoon. Stir into a paste. Don't forget to tidy up. Tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. When the buns are ready, take some milk and honey and delicately brush the buns. Now we can put the buns in the oven. We can bake the buns. Let's bake the buns. Put the buns in the oven for 20 minutes. Bake for 20 minutes at 190 degrees centigrade. After 20 minutes, take the buns out of the oven. Take the icing sugar, put the icing sugar in a bag. Close the bag and push the cream in a corner. Take a pair of scissors and cut the corner. Squeeze the cream. Make some crosses. And the hot cross buns are ready. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Give them to your daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Break it open and there we are. A delicious hot cross bun. Enjoy. Hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. How to make cinnamon rolls. Today we're going to make cinnamon rolls. We need a bag of flour, some sugar, some oil, some milk, some salt and a bag of yeast. We will also need a pot, a wooden spoon and scales. First of all, we're going to pour 200 grams milk into the pot. This has to be heated slightly. Pour the yeast into the milk. Make sure you stir the yeast in properly. Now mix the, all the dry ingredients together. The flour, the sugar, and the salt. You can also add the milk to the dry ingredients. We pour it in and mix it properly with our wooden spoon. For the next step, you'll have to get your hands dirty. You have to mix it with your hands and knead it. Now add a tablespoon of oil to the dough. continue kneading it. 
we have to cover the dough and leave it to rise for one hour. Now you have to roll the dough out with a rolling pin. Mix two tablespoons of cinnamon with some sugar. This will be the filling of our cinnamon rolls. We spread some oil on the dough. Sprinkle the cinnamon and sugar onto the dough. Now from one side, to roll the dough up tightly. Good. Once you made your roll, you have to cut it into half and into quarters. Cut each quarter into three pieces. Now put each roll into the casserole dish. Cover them and let them rise another two, three hours. After two hours, the cinnamon rolls have risen. Now we can put them in the oven for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. After 30 minutes, we can take our cinnamon rolls out of the oven. They should be ready. Cinnamon roll ingredients. Enjoy!